So in that video, I took uh, quadratics like this and did the uh, completing the square business on them. And I said in that video, I said, well, you, you really only want to do this if there's a 1 in front. Because mainly, you know, you want to find the uh, vertex when you want to uh, complete the square here to put it in vertex form. But, you know, it's it can be done when there's a number in front. So it, let's say there's a number like 2 in front or a 5 or an 8 or whatever it is. What you do to do that is whenever I do com whenever I complete the square, I can't have a number up here the way I'm doing it. So I need to get rid of this number. So I'm going to factor out a 2. Even though 2 doesn't go into these individually, uh, into these individuals very nicely. So I'm going to factor a 2 into that. So when I factor a 2 out, I'm essentially dividing everything by 2. Also, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So you're going to have x squared. 3 divided by 2 is just 3 halves. And then 5 divided by 2 is 5 halves. And I'm going to leave this in fact in fractions because sometimes you know you can't deal with a calculator like if you're dealing with thirds or or sevenths or something that's repeating, you can't convert it to decimal. So we're going to leave it in fractions so it works every time. So now what you're going to do is you're going to work through this in red. You work through this just like we did the other ones. And every time you, you do a step, you keep that two on the outside. Okay, so we're going to work through here, and we're going to keep that, that 2 on the outside, and eventually we're going to distribute it through. So now remember what you do. You take half of this value, so half of 3 halves is 3 fourths. So it would be x plus 3 fourths squared. That's what half of 3 halves is. And uh, plus 5 halves. But now what's inside here? What's inside here? Well, you square that value. And when I square a fraction, I just square the top, and I square the bottom. So if I multiply this out, there's a 9 sixteenths in there. So I'm going to subtract 9 sixteenths on the outside to make sure I have everything just nice and balanced. So now I need to go ahead and, and figure out what this value right here is. So 5 halves, to make this a 16, when I subtract fractions, I have to make sure I have the same denominator. So this needs to be a 16, multiply it by 8. So multiply the top by 8. You'd have 40 over 16 minus 9 over 16. And when I subtract those two values, I'd have 31 over 16. So that's what this is right here. So I get x plus 3 fourths squared plus 31 sixteenths. Now, distribute the 2 to both these pieces. This is one piece, and this is the second piece. So both these get distributed by 2. So multiply that by 2. I just keep the 2 on the outside. In vertex form, they want that 2 on the outside. Don't distribute it in there. You, well, you can't because it has a power of 2 there anyways. Uh, and then 2 times this guy. So 2 times 31 16. So if you multiply a number times a fraction, <laughs> I, I know that's not right, but a whole number times a fraction, but everyone says this is a number and that's a fraction. Anyways, this is like saying 2 over 1, you multiply straight across. So 2 times 31 is 62, and 1 times 16 is 16. And they're both even, so I can... I can take a 2 out of both of them, so 31 over 8. And you can use your calculator for that. I'm not saying you got to do it by hand, but that's how you work with fractions by hand. Now that's the same thing in red here as I have in black. It's the same thing. So to double check your work, I suggest you get your graphing calculator out, type the first, the one you're trying to manipulate, then get your answer and graph it. And what should happen is it should graph the first one, then it should graph the second one right on top of the first one. All right, so if I hit draw, and you can kind of see it in color here, there's the first one, and the second one graphs right on top of it. And if you don't have a color calculator, it's just going to look like one parabola. So that's how you do it if you have a number in front. We just divide everything by that number or factor it out. Do the same thing we usually do is taking half of this value, then we square it and subtract it over here. Then we just uh, calculate that number and then distribute the two. Whatever this outside is, you distribute it to both of them. So that number goes there two times this guy was that one. Easy peasy.